So I've gotten a lot of questions over the four years of my channel about how do you make your videos, especially how do you make your radars. So I'm going to show you guys a really quick way of doing this. And trust me, it's pretty quick. It's definitely not as time consuming as just drawing your radars in MS Paint or something like that. Way shorter process. So there are a couple websites. Of course, those will be linked down in the description. You're going to need paint.net, also linked in the description, and any video editor. So we're going to start off, this is the Iowa State University Environmental Mesonet website. So basically what you can do is you can choose any National Weather Service office and see all of their tornado, severe weather, flash flood warnings. I think that's it. So I don't know, I'm just going to pick a random. How about Rapid City? And then, oh yeah, tornado warnings. You can see there's already a four inch hail one. So we're going to find that here in the severe thunderstorm warnings. Okay. So you're going to click on this. You're going to go to interactive map. You're going to zoom in and then you're going to go over here, uncheck everything. Uh, let me see if I can get a better radar here. Oh, that's way better. Okay. All right. So then uh, this thing over here should be the only thing you have checked. Now you're going to double click or left click if you've got a mouse. Save image as and make sure you download it as a PNG. That way it's transparent. Just call it radar. And there you go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to open street map. And I think this looks just a little bit better than Google Maps when it comes to being professional. So what we're going to do is go to snip and sketch. You can use snipping tool if you want, doesn't really matter. And then you can do this. We'll save this as um, map. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open up paint.net. And we're going to open the uh, map first. Then we're going to go down here, add a new layer. And then we're going to put in the radar. All right, so here you go. This is good enough, but there's some more things you can do to uh, make it a little bit better. So I'm going to start off by going to this wand over here, and that's going to, I'm going to try to eliminate this clutter. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Actually, I'm going to lower the tolerance a little bit. That didn't do anything. Whatever. Still looks fine. And now we're going to go down here to layer properties. I think it, what is it, multiply? Or was it, we'll do darken. And then we're going to lower the opacity a little bit. You can do this if you want to uh, make the roads and the town names come up a little bit clearer. I think this is good and so there you go now you got a radar image uh, we'll save this it's radar one so there you go so if you guys want to make like a really kind of clickbaity looking radar, like the one in the video I just made a couple days ago, what you can do is this. You can keep looking at the radars. You can keep finding uh, different warnings. And then usually near like Hawaii and Alaska, you can find something that looks kind of like this. You don't want anything that has too much red or anything more than that. Because let me show you what, what I'm going to do is 
So this is the radar image from the uh, Iowa derecho from a couple years ago. And basically, how you make your radar look a little bit more clickbaity is you're going to go to Hue and Saturation under adjustment, Adjustments. And you're going to turn this Hue slider to the left a little bit. So there you go. I mean, it's, it's really that easy. You can still see the greens on the edge here. Uh, just everything is a little bit warmer, basically. And so then you can do that. The reason why you wouldn't want to do it with a radar image like this is because it's going to look a little ridiculous like this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to recreate, because I actually used this radar image in that uh, California video I just did. So now we're going to put it in again. I think I used three of them. I'm going to get a new layer here. Okay, good. So... Here we go. Now we got two of these. And what you can do to uh, clean it up a little bit, I'm actually going to add another one. Do the same thing. And then I think, yeah, there we go. So here we are. Uh, we're going to clean this up a little bit. We're going to put the, the hardness all the way down. We're going to go to 50. We're going to there we go, that looks better. And then layer two. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. So now we're going to flatten all of these. Okay, we're gonna do this until we're down here. And now what you can do is to make that like bookend thing, you can go to distort, twist, that obviously looks a little ridiculous, so we're going to move that. And I think I had the size all the way up, and then, like, kind of, like, yeah, that looks about right. So there's that radar image. I can find something I can, oh. So let's do this one. Okay, so now I found a, another radar image. Uh, originally, I was going to use the El Reno Tornado radar image and then like make a hook in paint.net, but I think we're going to use this one instead. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and save this again as a PNG. Now we're going to go back to paint.net, open radar 2, and I'm going to show you guys how to make a hook. So we're going to go back to distortion again, back to twist. And uh, you're not going to want to have the size very big. Now you just got to play with it a little bit. So you can do this. This is about the best I can do. Um, maybe find a bit bigger of a storm, but this is always an option. So I guess I'm just going to do the same thing. And there you have it. So if you guys are really insane and want to make a looping radar, uh, I'll show you how to do that. And for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to download these one, two, three, four, five, six radar images and then just put it in a loop in like Vegas. You don't need Vegas or anything for this. Just uh, any video editor would do. So I'm going to save this. Um, I'll save it as one. And then so on.
Okay, so now we're going to open Vegas. We're going to put those six images in. Also, these don't have to be very long. Okay, so here it is. I'm just going to show it here. So yeah, all right, I think that's going to do it for now. I don't know what I'm going to do next. I'll probably make a list on like a community post or something. Uh, and if I miss anything, you guys can tell me. But for now, that's going to be just about it. Have a good day, guys.